Hello there, it's me, Lady Hell, and I'm going to show you how to create a new uh, reseller, I mean, a new account um, in your uh, account, all right? So let's go to the computer there. We're going to go to the computer here. Now, once we are in the computer there, you're going to go into the, the, you know, your server login area, and you can just press, okay? You should have those credentials. I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna log in. Okay, your screen will look like my screen, except for your screen will be empty. I'm gonna log into an example account right here. Once I log into there, I'm going to press new account. All right, right here, there's a new account where it says type manual entry, or you can create a template. The server type is going to be shoutcast. We're not gonna use iCat, icecast. The auto DJ type is going to be liquid soap and you're gonna press create. Once you create, you, uh, you give them a username right there. Keep the host name at example. Whatever the name of their stream title is gonna be here. Their email address, their company name, their company website. On here, whatever password you're gonna set, set the password, put an exclamation mark on this one. Where it says administrator password, Set whatever password you're going to press without an exclamation mark. This is the password that they're going to use to log in. And you're going to select the time zone. So whatever time zone they're in, you select that. On the next screen right here, the next tab is limits. All right. It shows you how many um, listener spots that you can put on your, you know, on, on your network. You have a total of 2,500 listening spots. So you can assign up to 100, up to 25, up to whatever you want to assign. Um, to them. The max bit rate needs to be at 320 because a lot of people do not encode their stuff. Now you can charge for higher encoding if you want to, but I typically set this at 320. So when they're encoding, uh, when it comes in, but when they're streaming, they only can stream at 128, at 128 kilobits per second, which is inside of the training material. Okay. The limit you can transfer a limit you can put on unlimited unless you're going to give them a certain amount of gigabytes and then after a certain amount amount of gigabytes you pour, you charge per gigabyte and you can put that right there. Disk quota you have 15 this is 15,000 so that's 15 gigabytes so you you can um, typically you can charge you can start at a thousand I, I mean it just all depends on what how much you're selling your stations for or whatever um, but typically if you're selling it for under fifty dollars. Then I would only I would start that um, that this quota at only one gig, and then for every gig they want, you charge an additional ten dollars a month for that. Okay, um, so this say if your transfer limit is exceeded, what you wanted to do is notify the client, but that's not going to really happen because we gave them an unlimited amount. Uh, when it comes to this quota, you just notify them, hey, you're, you're either you're going to delete some stuff, but your your space is full. Okay. So to give them a notification. The next is auto DJ. So this is a great thing too. You can auto DJ is where you're able to program and it runs automatically, whatever. You can, like I said, if you're charging under 50 bucks or under $25, um, typically sometimes when people charge $25 for a station, they don't include auto DJ. If they want to include the auto DJ, then guess what? They have to pay them and then they come in and enable it, okay? So auto DJ typically is extra, but it's just depending on how you want to set up your business, okay? Because um, you can always make all of this stuff upgradable. Right here, you can put whatever, where it says genre, you can put the, um, what call it? whatever genre it is, all right? So the next one on widgets, keep that all the same. You don't really need that. Post, don't need that. Files, um, this is for sometimes when after each listener when the listener connects some people like to um upload a thing so when they connect and say you're listening to whatever whatever and this is the audio if loop if if it disconnects and say we'll be right back or something like that so you can choose an mp that needs to be an mp3 file let no more than you know 10 15 seconds uh for introduction file no more than 10 to 15 seconds for a fallback file okay on al on albums you can also come in here if you are an amazon affiliate you can click on the Amazon, you can put your affiliate link, um, your affiliate ID right there. So if somebody clicks on it by now, guess what? You get that Amazon, right? Uh, metadata, that's not important. Server, server overrides, 
um, right here where it says public server, you want to put always because once you pre put always, uh, you know, Shoutcast can read it. Right here where it says Shoutcast uh, the CDN, you're going to put um, always on relaying. Uh, uh, where it says allow, okay, this is not important, but just the Shoutcast CDN press always on um, the mount point, not important, advanced, that's not important. Once you have all your things uh, figured out, you're going to say create. Once you have, um, I'm going to just go into another network. Okay, I'll go right here. Once you have, um, once you have, uh, once you have create, you know, once you have press create and everything, of course, uh, then you will start seeing more things. You, It'll look like this, like, uh, I can't, let me just log into somebody's network. Can we log in this? All right, and you'll see the account. So then you'll see an account full, and then, uh, well, they have, she's on an unlimited thing. So, but um, anyway, it'll tell you, you know, if it's one of five, two of five, three of five, blah, blah, blah. It'll tell you how many accounts that you have um, available, left available to program and everything. And so since you are the master account owner, you don't need to necessarily know these people's passwords. Right here is their username. And then if they ever need to change, they're like, I done locked myself out. You can always just click this key. There's a key over here. You can click like right here. You can click this key and you're able to go in. Ports there. You're able to go in. You can look at everything. You know, you can go in on the last 30 days and look at, you know, what. I mean, that's recent activities. You go to listeners and we go to the last 30 days. It's assault. You can see where their total listening hours are was 3024 so you can go in you can see 30 372 unique listeners 32 countries you can see how long people are listening etc etc um but if they needed their password chain you would go to settings you can uh, i'm not going to reveal their password but you can click right here and it'll um it, it'll have you know whatever their password is and everything or if you need to change it just change it and say what are you doing doing the most um and you can do that okay and so um that's how you create a radio station all right and how to work it the whole all that stuff that is in your training videos all right god bless and all right hope to see you creating something soon god bless